a team of people from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration are seen in the fuselage of a WP-3D Orion aircraft to collect data on for hurricane research. The video, posted on X, by the NOAA Aircraft Operations Center included a caption noting the bumpy ride into Hurricane Milton, the team can be seen sitting in their seats as they try to remain stable in the turbulence that the plane is going through alongside equipment that is used to collect data. A ceremony for the victims of the October 7 Hamas attack into southern Israel was held in Athens on Monday, marking a year since the deadliest attack in Israel's history and as war rages on multiple fronts. Members of Greece's Greek community, Israel's ambassador to Athens, as well as survivors of the gruesome attacks last year were present to light candle vigils and take part in the commemoration ceremony in the Beth Shalom Synagogue. Vigils Commemorations and acts of remembrance are being held across the world to mark a year since the October 7, 2023 Hamas attack on Israel as leaders call for an end to anti-Semitism and the release of Israeli hostages. Last year's cross-border attack, which killed about 1,200 people, caught Israel unprepared on a major Jewish holiday. It shattered Israeli's sense of security and left many countries, already on edge over Russia's war in Ukraine facing the prospect of another major conflict in the Middle East. After a year, um, on this day, it's a very hard day, very difficult, uh, remembering our friends that we lost, remembering that more than a thousand people that Israel lost, um, hostages. hostages that are still that are still in Gaza. Um, but uh, we try to continue, and we have to stay strong. 
We can't, uh, we can't let go. We can't forget the people that we lost. We can't forget the hostages. And we have to keep on fighting until we get them all back. The whole world should remember that Israel is still in, in the war and we're still fighting for our uh, peace and for our security, even if it's uh, in the south, up north, in, uh, at, your, at our own house, uh, at uh, uh, public communities and bases, uh, hostages to bring back. It's a very difficult year and especially today uh, for Israel and for us. But it was very important for us to come here and to share our story and for the whole world to know why this war started and who started it. Marking today one year to the horrible, terrible, atrocious massacre done by Hamas on October 7th, 2023. And we hope while we are still within the war, with the ring of fire led by Iran, that we will be able to end the war and to reach peace uh, in our region and to bring security uh, to our people.